Falcons and the Lions. Detroit off the impressive Monday night win. Atlanta off the impressive Sunday night win. Falcons, three-point road favorites, total of 50 and a half. And this is a Falcons team that's gotten the job done uh, on the highway on a very consistent basis. Atlanta, seven and two straight up, seven and two against the spread on the road over the last two seasons. And they beat the spread by a combined 84 points over the nine games. I know they didn't cover week one uh, at Chicago, uh, but they won the game. (laughs) And certainly if they win by, what they win by six at the Bears? Win by six here, uh, they will cover the number. But it's worth noting, and this is something we've talked about a little bit on sports, but let's talk about a little bit more right now. How is that Falcons offensive transition working? I mean, going from Kyle Shanahan, who coached 39 points out of the 49ers last night, uh, to Steve Starkeesian. Well, uh, so far, look at the numbers. Well, the points per game down slightly, the yards per game down fairly significantly, yards per play down a notch, still very good. The one that stood out to me, SPS, that stands for seconds per snap. The pace, not what it was last year. They're down more than two, so there's two more than two seconds per snap slower than a season ago. They cashed an over ticket still on Monday Night Football after going way under in the opener against the Bears. It's worth noting the pace is down and the defense looks pretty darn solid so far. It's a very young Falcons defense, but boy, they've drafted athletic guys that can run. And hit. Now they lose Vic Vic Beasley uh, for probably about the next uh, three games, it looks like. They're going to have to rely on UCLA rookie Tack McKinley, although McKinley's a pretty good player. Dan Quinn doesn't sound worried at all. Quote With Vic out, we'll lean on Tack and Brooks Reed and Derek Shelby, who can also play outside. We are fortunate that we have some depth at the position this year. That's a big difference between the Falcons this year and in recent years on the defense side of the football. The defensive depth vastly improved from where it was from even last year uh, for Atlanta. Lions, well, I mean, their ground game was really one of the NFL's worst last year. And they didn't make a whole lot of moves. They did shore up their offensive line in the offseason. But in terms of drafting a back or anything like that, no. You know, the healthy Amir Abdullah, uh, they thought would be all that they needed. Abdullah healthy now. He only played in two games in 2016. Uh, But in the two games he's played here in 2017, 116 yards, 32 carries, 3.6 yards a carry. But he had the one 32-yard run against the Giants. The other uh, 31 carries, we're talking about uh, 2.7 yards per carry. They are not running the football effectively still, despite the offensive line improvement, despite the fact that Abdullah is healthy. That's a concern for Matthew Stafford moving forward. But, uh, you know, earlier in the week, Right here on Sportsbeat, we told you about how much rookie J- Gerard Davis means to that Lions defense. Had a great quote about how Davis is the guy who's been calling the plays, the rookie, the guy who's been calling the plays in the defensive huddle. Well, Davis has a concussion. He's yet to practice. He's still in concussion protocol. There are going to be major adjustments if he can't go. Either to hear Whitehead or Paul Worrilow has to slide over the middle. And the rookie, Jalen reeves Maben is going to fill, fill in for whichever one moves to middle linebacker. That's tough to do. Remember, Lions are playing on a short week. And, of course, they're playing an opponent that throws a lot to the running backs who attack the linebackers. And look at this graphic. This is just showing the impact that Gerard Davis has had for Detroit already this season. Let's see. He had a sack and a fumble recovery in two games. The entire Lions linebacking core in 16 games last year, zero sacks, zero fumble recoveries. Watch that injury report. Gerard Davis, he's not going to move the needle on the point spread. But whether he plays or not will absolutely have an impact on how well the Lions are able to defend the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.